Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to week four here in the SNE2107 Learning Community. I am Melanie Shop, your SNE2107 Learning Community gal. And folks, I am so excited to celebrate you because do you realize what week four means? It means that you are at the halfway point of your term. So you're already here, you're halfway here, you're halfway done, which is so exciting. So let's talk today about our academic mission statement and writing those three short-term SMART goals. As always, your experience here at Southern New Hampshire University is important to us. It's our policy and practice to create an inclusive and accessible learning environment. If there are aspects of instruction or course design that present barriers to accessibility, please notify the Online Accessibility Center, the OAC, as soon as possible by phone at 866-305-9430, or you can also email them at oac at snhu.edu or visit the Online Accessibility Center website. As a reminder, the Online Accessibility Center team is here to make sure that you get content for the university from classes, events, activities in a way that works best for you. Couple of housekeeping reminders. As always with these webinars, you guys have learned that there's some that are live and some that are on demand, um, but this is an academic space. Our SNHU Connect learning communities are an academic space, so always be mindful of your conduct. And this also includes the First Year Experience YouTube page. These webinars are not mandatory. They're not graded and there's no extra credit points awarded. However, they do walk you through the concepts and topics from week to week and show you the assignments and also give you some tips and tricks for your success but hopefully you have a little bit of fun along the way. So we are at the halfway point, as I mentioned, which is so exciting. A couple of things that I wanted to remind you of, because if you're not doing these things already, I want to make sure you start doing them because it's just going to help you and your success in achieving your goals. Always make sure that you're reading those course announcements and checking your SNHU student email. Okay, y'all? I cannot tell you how many times students have missed points on assignments, or there was a complete walkthrough of how to do things posted in the emails or posted the announcements or sent out via email and they missed it. So always be checking your course announcements for any of your classes that you are registered for and taking and always check that student email because that is how the university communicates with you first. If you have questions, if you're stuck on something, you're not sure of something, remember to always communicate with your faculty. Sometimes students can be nervous to reach out to their faculty and instructors. Don't be. We want you to be successful in our classrooms and pass our classes. So please email us, call us, text us, whatever way your faculty member posted that they are able to get in contact and communication with you from that My Instructor Announcement area. Get with them. It can make a difference. So please advocate for your success. Reach out and ask those questions and let us support your success. By now, you guys know in SNHU 107, we talk a lot about resources both inside and outside the classroom. You have so many university departments that are here to support you and your goals of getting your college degree. As you begin this week four assignment, this activity assignment, and as you work through the term and get to week seven for that final project, I encourage you to always use our resources but if you haven't yet worked with our SNHU academic support writing team, that written feedback tool, this is the perfect time to connect with them for your success because they do a great job of looking over the assignment, making sure that you're on point with how you're answering things and give you some tips and tricks and pointers for your success, okay? So here in week four, you guys are really going to narrow in on your academic mission statement, and then you're going to write three short-term SMART goals. Your academic mission statement is literally the easiest thing for you to do because it's why you're here at school, the degree you're getting, when you're going to get it, and what you're going to do with it, okay? Don't make it any hard, harder than that. You want to really think about defining your academic journey. Like, why did you start school? You know, why are you here? What is it that you're going to do with that degree? You know, when are you planning on graduating? Like this is all about connecting the dots and putting the pieces together, okay? So think about your why. Why did you start this? Is it because you're doing this for loved ones to show them what hard work is 
or that they can get a college degree. Maybe you're the first one in your family to get a college degree. Um, maybe it's you're doing this because you want to change your lifestyle. You want to buy some things you've always dreamed of, like that house or that car or go on vacation. Maybe you're just here to learn. You've always been interested in getting a degree in psychology or criminal justice or creative writing, whatever it might be. Um, or maybe you never had to have a degree for your job or your career, and now you do. So you're here getting that degree so you can stay with your organization or maybe even be promoted and move up, right? For some of you, you might be doing this to follow your passion and just to prove to yourself that you can do this. So no matter what your why is, that is what I want you to remember as you begin to work on this assignment because it'll help you put together that academic mission statement, okay? So here in week four, you have a template for the activity assignment just like you've had in previous weeks, okay? Nothing's new there, right? So what you're gonna do is open up that template like you've done before, and you, as you know, you can type right in it. So what you're doing for this assignment is first, so number one, you're gonna draft an academic personal mission statement, okay? You wanna make sure that your mission statement has these things included. That's that A, B, C under number one, okay? So first, your academic mission statement, you wanna write a sentence or two that summarizes your purpose for pursuing higher education and your proposed graduation date. So that's why you're coming here to get a degree, right? Like what you're getting it in. So if you're getting a bachelor's um, of science in business, or maybe you're getting your bachelor's degree in psychology and you're gonna graduate, let's say, um, in the next you know, four to five years. So 2027, right? Let's just put that in there. Keep it simple, but make sure you answer the question. And then you're gonna have a sentence or two summarizing the type of professional you wanna be in your career. So for example, if I'm getting a bachelor's degree in psychology and I'm gonna graduate here in the next four to five years, what is it that I wanna do with my degree? Maybe I wanna work with um, children and adolescents. Maybe I wanna work in, um, you know, on the behavioral psychology side, like whatever it is you wanna do, put it in there. And then C, write a sentence or two that summarizes how you hope to enhance your community or profession with your degree. So this is like, how is this gonna benefit me, but also those around me? Maybe you want to help, um, you know, struggling teens. Um, maybe this degree will help you give back to your community, but also change your lifestyle. So that's just some examples as you're kind of thinking through it. So you're going to write your mission statement and just know it's short and simple. I'm going to go over some examples so you can see them. And then number two is you're going to write three, one, two, three, smart goals. Okay, smart academic goals. These are short term things that you can do within the next three to six months, they're gonna help you earn or achieve that academic mission statement, okay? That's all it is. You're gonna answer these questions, fill it out, save it, and you're gonna upload it. So let's break these down just a little bit further because I know sometimes it can be a lot. So let's take a deep breath. First and foremost, that mission statement. As a reminder, think about what is the purpose of your education, when are you graduating? If you're not sure, you can always reach out to your advisor, but plan for like four to five years for a bachelor's degree, two to three years for an associate's degree. Everybody can be a little bit different. We're estimating it doesn't have to be perfect. What is the career or profession that you're hoping to go into? And then what are you going to do with that degree? For example, let's talk through it. When you go to this assignment, you're going to see some examples. This is that right here on the screen. Because I think sometimes it can help to just have somebody read it to you. So you remember, when back on the template, it tells you, you want a sentence or two to do this, a sentence or two to do this, and a sentence or two to do this. So they shouldn't be any longer than what you're seeing on this screen. So a paragraph, okay? So let's look at these, these examples. First and foremost, my academic mission is to successfully complete a bachelor's degree in business administration by June 2024. Do you see how that answers the very first bullet point? underneath draft your academic mission statement, right? This student wants to get a bachelor's degree in business administration by June, 2024. I hope to use the entrepreneurial and management skills developed in my degree to open my own business in the online retail market. So what are they gonna do with it? They're gonna open an online store, right? Through my business, I hope to provide goods and services to the public while maintaining a profitable living so I can spend more time with my family and support my children's future education. So why are they doing it? Obviously, they want to support their family. They want to earn some more money. But also, 
they want to have goods and services that are available to the public through their online store. That's an example. So when you're writing your own personal academic mission statement, you just basically want to plug yourself into this. Okay. Don't overthink it. Keep it simple. Do not copy it word for word, but change it to fit you and your goals and what you are here to get your degree for and what you're going to do. Okay. Let's look at it a little bit differently. Here's another example. My academic mission is to successfully complete a bachelor's degree in English and creative writing by 2024 and become a self-published author. So do you notice here states the degree bachelor's degree in English and creative writing, and they just put the year 2024. That's totally fine. Okay. And what are they going to do? They want to become a self-published author. I intend to use my creative writing skills to become a leading writer in adult fiction and screenwriting while maintaining my position as a publications editor. So what are they going to do with their degree? They want to stay at their job, but they want to expand their horizons a little bit. I wish to participate in bettering the world through creative works and influence people to be passionate about literature and reading. Okay. So two totally different majors written a little bit differently but they answer all the questions that are above that are outlined that you need to include in your personal mission statement. Okay. That's the first one. We got this. All right. The second is these smart goals. You're going to write three of them. Smart stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, time-based. Okay. So as you're putting these goals together, and I'm going to share some examples. You want to make sure first and foremost, that you have a goal that is relatable and realistic, right? Specific, but you also wanna make sure that that time base, that due date, deadline, start date is, with, is within the next three to six months, okay? So it shouldn't be, for example, you don't wanna have a short-term SMART goal that says, I'm going to get my college degree. That's your mission statement, okay? However, you can have goals that are short-term SMART goals, that are things like maybe you want to work with the writing services and academic support. Maybe you're struggling with your time management and you need to create a time management plan and meet with your advisor every week to make sure you're on track in your classes. Maybe you want to meet with the career center here at SNHU and see if you can chat with a graduate that's in your career field because you're not sure maybe what direction you want to go. Those are just easy, quick examples but I wanna make sure that you understand how they should be written. So if you look at the example on the screen, this goal says, my goal is to submit all work on time or before the due date for my first two terms by meeting with my advisor weekly and mapping out the assignments and deadlines for my classwork. So what is this student doing? They wanna do well in their classes, right? So their plan is they're gonna submit all their work on time, either early or on the due date, for their very first two terms, so within six months, right? And they're gonna do, how are they gonna do this? This is key. You wanna have a goal, you wanna share how you're gonna do it. So they're gonna meet with their advisor, right? I will know I've succeeded in achieving my goal by submitting my work on time or early. So how do they check that? Well, you can log into your class, see your grades and know what you've turned in, right? Then finally, how does it relate to your mission statement? Because if they're successfully completing their assignments, they're gonna pass their classes and get their degree, right? That's a great example. So stated the goal, what it is, specifically what they need to do, how they're gonna do it, and then why does it tie into their mission? Plus that time piece, that time-based piece was in there with first two terms. All right, so that's an example of a goal. Here's another goal. I will submit my work on time. That's a great goal, but there's no detail, right? There's no, well, when are you gonna do it? How are you gonna do it? Why is that your goal, right? So as you're writing these, keep them simple, but make sure you explain them with the details you need. Another example of a goal, let's say that you struggle with time management and you don't have a schedule set for your SNHU stuff. So your goal could be, I have found myself struggling with time management. I need to set a schedule for my SNHU study time so I stay in track of my classes. So that's your goal. And how are you gonna do that? Well, I am going to map out a schedule or I'm going to purchase a planner and map out times through the week where I'm studying. That's perfect. Okay. Then why does this relate to your goal? Well, if you can manage your time and have study time, you're getting your work done. You're going to pass your classes, right? But what am I missing? I'm missing that time spot. So you could say that you want to put this time schedule into place for the next term or two. 
to see how it goes for your success. You can also say things like, I want to get an A in this class. Awesome. Be specific. I want to get an A in my SNHU 107 class for this term. So that's short term, specific. How are you going to get it? Turn your work in on time. Make sure your assignments are submitted, right? How wide does it tie into your mission statement? It'll help you keep you on track for your classes, okay? Three very different examples, right? The key is, is to have the goal, what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, why you're going to do it, and put a due date or a start date on it for your success. Give yourself a little bit of time to kind of jot things down. If it works out better to print out the template for this assignment and kind of write all over it to kind of get an idea of your mission statement and then go put it together or write down your goals and then piece it together, do it in a way that works best for you, okay? And remember, we have that incredible academic support team that has the writing services that know this assignment, know what your faculty are looking for, and can help make sure that you're on the right track. Where do you find them? Do you remember? When you log into your Brightspace classes, right? At the very top, you'll see academic support, or you'll also find them on the left-hand side. But when you click on academic support, you want to click on I need help with schoolwork or homework, and then you'll scroll down a little bit and see that written feedback. You can upload your assignment, even your rough draft, to them, and within 24 hours, you're going to have feedback back, okay? So with this assignment, you're literally just sharing your why for being here, the degree you're going after, when you plan to graduate, what you are going to do for a career with that degree, how it's going to help you in your community. That's your academic mission statement. And then you're going to have those three SMART goals that are short term. So things that you can do that tie to your mission statement within the next three to six months that'll help keep you on track. Okay. That's all we're doing. Don't forget the due date or start date for your goals. That is the biggest thing that students struggle with as they write SMART goals. They get everything put together and they're missing like that time-based part, either the start date of the goal or the due date of the goal. And don't forget the details, okay? Again, these are all like short little paragraphs, nothing long, keep it simple. If you get stuck, reach out and ask questions, okay? Use the academic support writing team, reach out to your advisor, reach out to your instructor, look at the examples that are in your module, come back and look at this webinar, watch the videos that kind of walk you through things. And just remember too, as you're writing your work for these assignments, watch out for using text talk, okay? We see it a lot. Make sure you're spelling out things, make sure you're capitalizing things properly, use the correct version of words, just so you keep those points, okay? Y'all, you're gonna be wonderful. Remember, this is your journey. For many of you, you've waited a long time to be here. This is your time. This is your story. You're just writing it down and putting it on paper. So remember to take a big old deep breath, just breathe. If you get stuck, connect with your SNHU resources, ask questions, come back to the learning community and let us know how we can best support your success. Your faculty absolutely love reading these assignments and seeing the academic mission statements and the goals that you have for yourself. So take a minute, take time for this assignment, do it right, let us know if you need anything and congratulations, you're halfway done with the term. You got this and I'll see you in week five.